Well, after I left to go to become a monk, my mother was in this one of these tall rise apartment blocks. It was because we were all poor. It was uh, like a homes west, what they have over here, like a council house run by the local government, subsidised housing. And it's supposed to be a hotbed of crime, those areas. But one thing happened there after I went to visit her, maybe uh, 10 or 12 years after I'd become a monk. I'd found that many of those people in that small apartment block had been there for such a long time and they were so crammed together, they got to know each other. It was a community had developed. It was like a village. A village not spread out, but spread up. And I th the, the great social cohesion apparatus was the elevator, the lift. The only way to get up and get down was to be squashed in this small lift together. And to be squashed in this lift together with people after a year or two, even the English with their reserve had to start talking to each other. They got to know each other, going up and down that lift, talking to each other. So when I actually went in there, everybody knew who I was. Because my mother had told everybody, the lift going up, lift going down. <laughs> yeah, my son's coming. Oh, that's very nice. He's a Buddhist man. Oh, that's very good. They started chatting together. And one day, after visiting her, when I was going to walk to a nearby temple to give a talk, when I got to the ground floor, and the lift doors opened. I was faced by an old lady who was covered with blood. And of course, I wonder what had happened. She'd fallen down some concrete stairs. So forget about my Buddhist talk. Why do I give a Buddhist talk anyway? About kindness, compassion, helping people. So I decided that she was my Buddhist talk that day and the other people at the temple would have to wait. So I took her straight upstairs to where my mother's flat was. Sort of bathed her, called an ambulance, found she'd broken her leg. But the interesting thing of that story was because she was bleeding, there was a trail of blood going into my mother's apartment. And before we'd you know, washed her, and before the ambulance came, I don't know how many people from that apartment block were inside my, brother, my mother's sitting room asking what has happened, is there anything we can do to help? I saw there was a village there and people actually cared for each other simply because they were squashed together. The closer our living quarters are, I think the closer our community becomes. Sure we have our arguments, we also have our friendships as well. So we shouldn't have these quarter-acre blocks, not even tenth of an acre block. Let's squash up more. 